Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, a librarian here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a tour of the Communication and Mass Media database. To get there from the College homepage, click on Menu, scroll down to the little plus sign next to Student Support, click on that to access the submenu, and find Library between Counseling and Tutoring. From there, notice toward the center of the page the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 research assistance via chat with SMC librarians and librarians in the International Consortium to which we belong. At any time, if you use this button to get research help, you'll be talking to a librarian. From the Databases button, if you head into All Databases, this is a list of all of our databases listed alphabetically by title with a short description of what's in each database. As you scroll down here, you'll notice a variety of diverse databases. Today we're going to look at Communication and Mass Media Complete. Say, for example, you needed to do an essay, and your topic was body image and women, and how mass media affects that. I would search for body image, spell it right, and women, but unless I was looking specifically for social media, or Instagram, or film, or television, I wouldn't need to put that because this is the Communication and Mass Media database. So all of the articles you find through it are seen through that lens. So when I search for that, I get 182 articles. I can limit that over here on the left. Say I'm doing this for a research essay, so I need scholarly or peer-reviewed journal articles. That cuts it down a little bit. In addition, I want the more current research, so I can scroll this and the publication date over to about the last five years. That cuts it down to about 45. If I had more and I wanted to cut it down even further, I could go down and use the subject term area. And it would be very descriptive. It would also cut me down considerably. These are subject terms that are assigned by experts to these articles that tell you this article is specifically and primarily about this topic. So I could click on body image as a subject and not just as words used somewhere in the text. And that cuts me down to 27 articles. From here I can go through and see what I like. And if something looks interesting to me, I can click on it. It brings up the article, tells me about the article. This is in Communication Research Reports. It's about these subject terms. If I click on one of these subject terms, it will research the database and find all of the articles in this database on that topic and bring those back to me. So if I don't get quite on target with my search, but I'm close, I can use the subject terms to find more useful information. Then it shows me an abstract, which is an author-supplied summary of the article. And if I like that abstract, I can determine based on that whether I want to maybe email it to myself and check it out later, and then continue and find more articles. So from here, I can add it to my Google Drive. I can print it, email it, save it, cite it. If I need a citation for it, depending on which class I'm in, I might use APA, for example, if I'm in a psychology class. I might use MLA, if I'm in an English class. Always, for your citations, fix them after you copy and paste them into your paper using the template that is given to you by your teacher. Because the robots in the database do their best, but they don't always get it completely right. Then if I decide I like this, I can email it to myself. I ask it to send it to me. I give it some sort of a subject. In this case, I want the PDF because it includes graphs and images, but I don't want the HTML. I'll already have the text in the PDF. I want it to give me a citation, and in this case, I'm going to ask for MLA. Do not send it in plain text format. Send it off. Once I do that, in my email, I will have all of this information, plus the robot's attempt at my citation and attached to it I will have the PDF. 
Then I can head back to my result list and find more articles. Some things to keep in mind about any database that is specialized to a topic. It will give you other options up here that you can search. And one of the most useful is the thesaurus. Sometimes that the terms that we use are not exactly the same terms that the database uses. So if your term isn't the way that it's understood, it will not find the information that is actually included in the database. So say I'm looking for information on verbal abuse. It doesn't use that term. It uses invective. So if you use the term that the database understands, it will get you better results. And if you have any questions, head back to the library and take a look at the Ask a Librarian button. This is also embedded in many of our databases. If you have any questions, ask us. Good luck with your research and be well.